In this video, we're going to talk about the load method in jQuery. But first, we need to talk about the difference between the load method and the ready function, because they do something very similar. Now, let's read off this first line here. jQuery ready executes when HTML document is loaded and the DOM is ready, earliest possible. And what I mean by that is, first of all, well, the ready only comes with jQuery. It's not available in JavaScript. Now, what I mean by that is the ready event will get triggered when the DOM is ready. Now remember the DOM is just a tree and everything JavaScript and jQuery do is based off the DOM. It works against the document object model. So obviously that needs to be built before we can execute any script. So that's what the ready function does in jQuery. The load is very similar, only it operates at a little bit later time. So the load executes when complete page is fully loaded, including all frames, objects, and images. That's the important part. So the DOM has been loaded and everything else essentially on the web page has to be loaded. So that's the big difference between those two. So that being said, let's go ahead and use the load and what we'll do is put that here and we're going to actually check to see when an image gets loaded. So we'll select that with our jQuery selector and we'll just put in here IMG. That's all we need. So we're going to check when our Caesar image is loaded. And let's just do a simple alert. So we'll put up an alert box that says the Caesar image has, well, we should put has been to be a little bit better, has been loaded. And this will only get triggered, of course, when this IMG is in fact loaded. Of course, that will trigger the load event, which will in turn kick off this alert box. So let's go ahead and save this. And let's go ahead and run this. Uh, let's run it in Firefox this time. Let's do something a little bit different. Hey, there, look, we got our box. It says the Caesar image has been loaded. Good. So that's how that works. Now you can also check other things. You can check uh, if a window's been loaded right here, right? Frame. So let's go ahead and just check the window. Now this isn't a element, so we don't have to use quotes. We can just put in, whoops, not windows. We can just put in window. And of course the window has to be loaded. Then the load event is triggered and we'll get an alert box and we'll just keep the same text here. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's go ahead and run it. And we'll run it in Firefox again. And there you can see, we got our alert box. So that's how the load event works. I will see you guys in the next video.